Every year, about half a million high schoolers take an advanced placement American history class as a way to earn college credits. But there's been a national debate over what parts of American history should be emphasized. On Thursday, the college board, under pressure from conservatives, changed the guidelines for teaching the course. Here's Contessa Brewer. You're making a prediction. Students might not notice the changes, but AP U.S. history teachers will. For example, lessons on westward expansion. In the original version, the focus was almost exclusively on the negative impact of Western settlement on Native American populations. Historian Jeremy Stern helped the college board craft the revisions. Including that is obviously essential, but you also want to talk about the point of view of the settlers themselves. When you change the story to one of pioneering spirit and economic opportunity, uh, it's not just a change in emphasis, it's a lie. Like beauty, history may be in the eye of the beholder. And what Seton Hall history professor William James Holhofer sees is downright ugly. The new standards have gone completely wrong. This is the document the College Board changed, guidance for teachers about what the final exam will cover. New recommended course topics now include the American ideals of liberty, citizenship and self-governance, and the productive role of free enterprise. Those are uh, Republican National Committee presidential Donald Trump talking points. Critics had slammed last year's AP course guidance as unpatriotic. Lawmakers in many states went on a rampage, pushing for changes. In Colorado last September, conservative school board members said the AP American history materials should not encourage or condone civil disorder. That sparked civil disorder, massive community protest. The Republican National Committee adopted a resolution calling last year's framework biased and inaccurate. Ben Carson, a Republican now running for president, went even further. I mean, I think most people, when they finish that course, they'd be ready to go sign up for ISIS. The College Board knows the revised framework won't make everyone happy. I think people, frankly, on both the left and the right, have greatly exaggerated the power of this document. The College Board doesn't mandate specific textbooks. The framework is a guide, not a requirement about lesson plans. AP U.S. history teachers remain free to teach what they think is important without considering the controversy du jour, Elaine. Contessa Brewer reporting. Contessa, thank you.